up everyone, Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a new game review. This time I take a look at Yoshi's Crafted World on the Nintendo Switch. This is an awesome game if you love Yoshi games, if you love the like yarn art style of some of the more recent Yoshi titles, then I think you'll really like this game. So let's take a look at a little bit of gameplay and I'll chat about what I liked about the game, maybe some things I didn't like, and we'll go from there. So here we have another Yoshi game. There have been tons of them. And in recent years, they all kind of follow the same aesthetic. Everything looks like yarn. And I don't know what started this aesthetic, but all I can say is I like it. Because you don't really see games that do an overall style like this. I mean, yeah, there was like Kirby's Epic Yarn. But that aside, Yoshi has kind of been the character that really takes on these kind of aesthetics. You know, ever since Yoshi's Island, it had that kind of not not really papery, but like real childlike look to it. And Yoshi has always maintained a similar aesthetic through the years up until this one with Yoshi's Crafted World. Everything in this game looks like the crew at Nintendo went about making everything like out of paper craft and it's awesome they everything in the game looks like it's made out of you know cardboard and you know tin cans and little boxes and stuff to make this really cool looking environment that you get to explore and something that's really fun about it is they follow the same kind of formula that other Yoshi games have had. Of uh, There's a few different collectibles you get in the level, you go through, solve a couple of puzzles, you know, try not to get hit, things like that. And at the end, it'll show you how you did, and it'll show you everything that you got, plus everything that you missed. And that's how you add to the replayability of a game. You have the player go through the level, pouring their heart into it, thinking that they did really well, only at the end to show them, yeah, that's right, you missed one flower in the game. So, can you actually get it? And now all of a sudden you gotta go back and you gotta play the level because you're so annoyed that you missed one item. And that happened to me a lot in this game. Now, eventually I got so sick of constantly missing items that instead of going back and replaying every level over and over again, I just decided to get through the storyline. So the first half of the game, it's super completed. It's awesome. You can see all the little stars and hearts and flowers and everything. Second half of the game, totally incomplete. But you know what? That's okay. Because eventually I wanted to just play the story of the game and I was not going for completionist or anything like that on this. But this game is totally built for anybody that just has that completionist itch that they need to scratch. Because you'll go back and you'll replay and replay and replay until you get all the different items and you beat each level perfectly. Then what's really cool is after you beat that level, now you get to play the level in reverse. And I don't just mean you do the level backwards, like, you know, racing games, things like that. It's like, oh yeah, mirror tracks. So you get to play it backwards or reversed or something like that. No, no, they play it literally backwards. They rotate the camera angle to the back side of the level. And I think it's so cool looking because now all those cool like paper craft structures you get to see inside of them. Because whenever you're building something like that, nobody's ever gonna see the back of it. What do you care if there's a wall there? You don't. But in this game, you get to see the other side of the levels. And I think that concept is just so cool. I have never seen that in a game before. And I thought that added such a unique charm to this game and just made it awesome. Like the regular levels are really fun and really cool. And there's all kinds of different things and mechanics you can do the reverse side of the levels, seeing it's kind of like looking behind the curtain. You get to see the other side. It's like you're seeing the game from the game designer's perspective instead of yours. You see the level that the game designer wants you to see. When you flip the level around, you're seeing it kind of like from the other perspective, and I think that's awesome. Now, the game only takes a few hours to beat, and I know that had a lot of people kind of up in arms about how short it was versus how much the game actually cost, but you know what? It's still a super fun Yoshi game. And if you're just playing through the story mode of the game, yeah, you're not gonna get a ton of time out of it. But if you're playing through the story mode of the game while trying to get a perfect score on every level, and trying to get all of the replayability out of it that you can, this game becomes exponentially longer. And that's where a lot of the, you know, cash to gameplay value will come in because you really will feel like you got your money's worth. Now, 
I didn't complete the game entirely. I finished the story mode, of course, but I did not complete every last little objective in the game because I didn't feel like I needed to. Once I beat the story, I felt like the game was worth it. And I had such a fun time playing through it that I didn't care if I didn't get 100% completion on the game. And for me, that was enough. Now, if you've played this game, I definitely wanna hear about it and I wanna know what your take is on it. Did you enjoy playing the game? Did you think it was worth the money? Were you satisfied by the story or was the game a complete disappointment to you and you're sorry you ever laid eyes on it? I would love to hear other people's reactions to this game because everything online seems kinda of like a mixed bag. There's people that either love it or hate it. And I haven't really heard anybody kind of in the middle of the road on this. So let me know. Personally, my thoughts are, I thought the game was fantastic. It's not my favorite game of all time. It's not even my favorite Yoshi game of all time. But it was definitely up there and I definitely enjoyed the experience. So there you have it everyone. That is my take on Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch. While the game is rather short, I still had a lot of fun with it, and I think it's something that you might have a lot of fun with too if you're a fan of Yoshi or first party Nintendo titles. Now if you liked today's video, please let me know down in the comments below. Let me know, have you played Yoshi's Crafted World? What did you think of it? And while you're down there, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell so you can alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.